Okay, hello dear one. If you consider buying colleges of education form 2020-2021 academic year, here are some simple procedures that you need to follow. First of all, you need to buy the online form from any of the consolidated bank of Ghana branch across the nation. You just walk to their branch with an amount of 115 cities. 50 pesos then you get your serial number and your pin code to assess the education college of education portal side and you proceed with the online application form and there's been one of the easiest way that i prefer which is the mobile money approach it works for tigo cash vodafone cash Airtel money mtm money or the networks so all you have to do is simply dial in star nine two four star eight hours if you do that you follow the prompt then you provide you select option for mobile money option then you enter your mobile money number you enter the number of form you want to buy you enter the amount boom there you go so you will be sent with your serial number and your pin so after successfully buying the form through mobile money you are going to be sent a message like this via sms which contains your serial number and the pin you are going to use all these you are going to use the serial number and the pin to log into the colleges of education portal So once you have your serial number and the pin code, go ahead and open your browser and type in admission.coeportal.edit.gh into your address bar. And you're going to have a page like this open. This is the official page of the Colleges of Education site. So when you are through with this page, there are some information down below. There are some information down below here that you need to read. They are very essential. Other than that, you are going to find yourself wanting during the online application process. Here, you have to provide a passport size picture on your phone, a digital one on your phone. So you have to snap a passport size picture on your phone that's not exceeding 40 kilobytes in size. And there are certain buttons that you have to understand. Here we have some buttons like print and submit and print confirmation. We have print form. We have save and continue later button. All those buttons have special functions that they perform. So once you are on the online registration form page, when you are on that page, you have to provide the necessary information, your date of birth, your name as you have it in your document. You have to make sure that everything is intact and everything match what you have in your document right from your school. Other than that, it is going to compromise your forms and your document and you are going to find problems in the near future. So you have to make sure that any information that you provide they are very relevant and they are very essential. Everything is intact. So go ahead and find all the information that you need. Something like your school your address, your postal address, your home address, and your date of birth, your name and how it is arranged, your surname, Christian name, other names, when you're having three names, whether the, your name is hyphenated, how your name is spelled, you have to get all those information first before you proceed to the online application form page and you mind you mind you you have to get your index number right from shs the, the index number that you they used to register you at shs you have to get that before you proceed to the form you may decide to add one, that one later but it is needed there is a session that demands your index number of which you have to provide your index number, the year you wrote, 
and how the number of times you sit for the exams all those are very vital information that you have to have before you you proceed to the online application form site but mind you let me show you one thing before you make this mistake once you come down here there is a link down below the portal login if you want to continue with the online application form please do not do not open this link do not open that link if you want to apply online go ahead and click on apply now other than that if you click on the link down below it is going to open a different page for you of which you find yourself wanting so go ahead and click on apply now and it's going to lead you to a page where you're going to provide your serial number that was sent to you through the test message or that was sent that was given to you from the bank then you provide your pin so that you can log in to the online application form site then you provide your necessary details then you continue with the online application form so let's proceed to the login site so this is how the login site looks like here when it comes to the registration type you select normal then you provide your pin then you provide your serial number you go ahead and click on login after you've provided all those informations and it's going to take you to the their online application sites and you are going to have a page where you provide all the necessary information about you your name as i've said earlier on date of birth and an active email number and an active email account so please make sure you have an active email address then you have an active phone number any information concerning your form any information concerning candidates of education they are going to send them to you via either your email or the phone number you provided so make sure you have access to all the mail or the contact number that you've provided so that you don't miss any information concerning your form concerning any update from the colleges of education so when you get to the online application form page you are going to choose three colleges of education at a go you see the form is one unlike previously you have to buy if you, if you want to apply for three colleges of education you buy from the respective schools but this one this form has been customized in a in the sense that it looks like the one that we did during the S dhs when you we were about to go to shs and we choose our shs schools our school choices is the same thing that applies here these have been updated and very simple and straightforward so you are going to choose three different colleges of education so you choose the first one the first choice and the program you would like to offer then you choose the second one program third one the program then you go ahead and fill in the particulars your information concerning your personal information your educational background then you go to your parents and guidance you go on to your residential information then a whole lot they are very simple and it's very user friendly when you read you understand you provide what is expected of you where you were born your hometown all those information they are very easy and they are at your fingertips and i know you are not going to find it one thing there is one thing that i want you to know the colleges of education serial number and the pin code is active for three login attempts so you can use the pin and the serial number to log in to this site to log in to this site for three consecutive times if you do that for the fourth time you've exhausted your form and you need to go ahead and buy a different form of which is going to cost you another money so this is what you're going to do 
you may not be able to fill the all the necessary information on your first day of visit so what i will advise you to do is after you've after you've logged in and you have you've assessed the the online registration form site whatever information that you have at the moment input them for those that you are not sure don't fail them leave them there then there is a, a button down below which is save and continue later before you click that one you, there is another button which is print form print form click on that print form and it's going to have a copy saved on your phone as a pdf file after you've printed the form then you click on save and continue later if you click on save and continue later you will have the chance to come back the next day you come back the next day then you continue with whatever you were doing but the reason why i made you click on the print form is that it is going to print a soft copy of the form onto your phone of which you can go ahead to any printing press and print them and have it as a hard copy at your disposal when 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 you have the hard copy the informations that you couldn't provide online you go ahead and search for do, those information you provide all of those information onto the form the one that the printed output you provide all the information onto the form then the following day you open the portal again you log in then the information that you couldn't provide previously you look through the printed output the one that you provided then you make sure that you provide it as it is then you continue so you can do it for the first time second time you go ahead and do any verification that is necessary so for the third login you don't have any chance for the third login you must have done everything and you are going to click on print and submit form so when you click on print and submit form your online application form is going to go online to the selected schools and if god willing you are going to be selected provided you meet the requirements from the colleges of education so that's all that you have to know but make sure you have a passport size picture on your phone so that you there is a section at the top right corner at the form page where that is demanding a passport size picture of yours and I've, as i said earlier on it shouldn't exceed 40 kilobyte, kilobytes 40 kilobytes in size so make sure your picture is, doesn't exceed that size then where it's being demanded you click there it's going to give you an option for you to upload a file from your phone then you go ahead and you upload that password size picture that i've taken on your phone then you upload it to the form then you submit everything then you wait for everything to proceed to process then you click on print and submit form once you click on print and submit form your form is online and it's going straight to the selected colleges of education schools so make sure on your first login and the second login you provide all the necessary information accurately then the third login which is the final one you finally submit the form